There was lots of news from Silicon Valley this week. Another company in the headlines is Google. This week, the search engine giant brought the online video company YouTube for $1.65 billion in stock. Some worry that Google will face lawsuits over YouTube's use of material that violates copyright laws. So, David Spark, what does this deal mean to people who love YouTube? Well, to the people who love YouTube, if you listen to Google and you listen to uh, the founders of YouTube, nothing's going to happen. But uh, it's going to change because it has to change because Google's a public company and they're going to be taking in an organization that is filled with copyright violations and they're going to have to put an end to it. And so things like, you know, people who like to post something they saw on the Daily Show last night may have to end. Uh, well, so, then is it YouTube? <laughs> well, it is YouTube. What, what was phenomenal about YouTube, YouTube is a video sharing site, which there's many around, and they're not the first ones out there. There were many, uh, or there's something like 240 video sharing sites out there. And what made them amazing is that they were the first to be really easy to post, really easy to view, and really easy to share. And because of that, and because of this network that they created, Millions upon millions of people watch, uh, they get 100 million views a day, and uh, that's what's exciting about it. The illegality about it, uh, whether they're going to be able to fix that, that was part of why YouTube made the deal with Google. Hey, do you think that, that people who were into YouTube in the beginning, mm -hmm. kind of renegades, they want to do this without regulation, without oversight, do you think they'll go, all right, Google, you can have YouTube, and now we're going to start MyTube or something mm -hmm. else, that they'll just go somewhere else and... So well, that, or does the YouTube now have the lock on the market and there really is nowhere else? There's to go? so far no in no way does Google excuse me, does Google now have a lock on the market uh with YouTube, but it's an impressive move because you know, statistics show that YouTube has something just under fifty percent of the online video sharing viewing market, which is amazing. I mean if you were to say this to any television network that for one point six five billion you could have half of the viewers, they jump at it. But it doesn't work like that because anyone could easily jump to another video sharing site if it allows them to engage in these illegal activities. But you get a real sense that the content providers don't want to do a rerun of Napster and basically shut down the big sharing site. In fact, they want to co-opt YouTube and turn it into an, a venue to get all their stuff out there legally. Look at all the deals that have just been cut with right. YouTube and Google. Clearly, someone is thinking, especially at Google, that we don't want to step into this copyright minefield and they've addressed this going into the deal. Yes, and, and of course, because they've already made deals. They've actually made a series of independent deals prior to the merger uh, with uh, uh, major music labels, and they're probably going to close the fourth one with EMI, which is the fourth music label. Um, yes, very much so, because they see that's where the eyeballs are going, and it's really about the young audience. The young audience has turned away television. The young audience isn't buying as many CDs as they did before, and the reason is they're purchasing online, they're consuming videos online, and they're now using the the venue of YouTube to sell the brands of their uh, of their talent. So Google has primarily been a search engine and I'm wondering how is the acquisition of YouTube going to affect that part of the business? In other words, when when you do a search on Google, will you now get options to go to video as well as, you know, primarily text kinds of Well, in in a way that's what they already had even before they were uh in before they even uh, acquired uh, YouTube because they did have Google Video, which was their own service, which, like YouTube, you had to post video to but Google people Video. Really using it, really. Well, because it was not a, it was not a, a community like YouTube is. Mm -hmm. And also, it wasn't like free reign, like the way YouTube worked. And also, a lot of it, you had to pay for, too. So what about advertising? That would change the nature of mm -hmm. YouTube, you expect there will be? Yes, there will be ads, but there won't be ads in the way that a lot of people think. Uh, Chad Hurley, who's one of the founders of YouTube, has been very, very vocal about not wanting to run 15-second pre-roll ads. And it's very interesting. A lot of people say, well, you're going to have to run 15-second pre-roll ads. And he's saying no, because they're very much about the customer experience, which is the reason Google says why they acquired YouTube, because Google claims that that's what they're also into. But there are many other ways to sell ads. You can put advertisements around the video. You can have uh, other sort of advertising videos that you can watch. Uh, right now there is a video you can watch on the home page of YouTube that actually makes a lot of money mm. for them. Hey, hey, what happens next with Google? I mean, it just seems every week or every month there's something new that they're buying, some new venues. You said music, mm -hmm. now the video, they have the maps on the market. I mean, is there 
Is there more places this company can go? It's pretty amazing all the tentacles. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's a very, very common question that's asked. I mean, they're going to be going into, uh, they're going to, the attacking Microsoft Office they have with they've released their docs and their spreadsheets. Uh, but with regards to video specifically, uh, watch them to acquire different uh, technologies in video. Like they'll probably acquire new video search technologies. I wouldn't be surprised if Blink X, which is another video search technology that has a lot of capabilities that uh, Google doesn't have. Uh, would be the next. Are these guys going to go gunning for Netflix too? That seems to be a real buzz in the valley that they want to get heavier into video sales and rentals as well, and to be the online venue not just for video search but also for turning a buck from it. Yeah, I mean, they're not doing this to be egalitarian and make no money like YouTube has been up until now. Um, but yeah, I mean, I don't know about Netflix necessarily because Netflix sort of made an attempt at sort of this online video and the sort of the video on demand for movies. Um, it's it's now really being acquired by the sort of the cable venues right now, and they're the ones who are, are stronger into this position. As is, I would say, the the telcos with their um, uh, their IPTV technology, which also allows for this sort of on-demand programming. I don't see as quick a play in that sense. In I see those players being much stronger right now. You know, with all of the millions of viewers with uh, YouTube. Mm -hmm. There's still some who are out there, and they have their answers, one of them. But uh, I'm learning more about the power of YouTube. I had a conversation with Helen Thomas, who appeared mm -hmm. in a clip on YouTube, said she spent 57 years with a byline, and nothing bought fame like appearing on YouTube mm -hmm. in a good comedy sketch. So how did the word spread to all these millions of people that this it, is a place to go? Well, I'm, I just bring it back to it's easy to post. It's easy to view. It's really easy to share. There are two very key things. You can send a link to share something, or you can actually take the video and put it on your site. And what's unusual about YouTube, but not a lot of the video sharing sites do, is they pay for all the bandwidth costs of the video, which was not the case before. And, and, and it was costing them a fortune, too. Okay, good news, I guess. <laughs> it's now Google's cost. <laughs> right. Thank you very much, David.